where he grew up, and a lot of people actually feel the same way about the George Gray Neighborhood Center, which recently was reborn as the George Gray Neighborhood YMCA. Their first major event is coming up, and to talk about the impact of it all, I'm joined by two guests here. Heather Coleman is on the staff at the Racine Family YMCA. She's organizing the upcoming event. And the head honcho is Ahmad Kawi. Is that pronounced correctly? Yes. All right. Well, everyone knows him as Mr. Q. He's the chief operating officer of the Racine Family YMCA. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Hey. Tell me about the event that's coming up at the uh, George Bray Neighborhood YMCA. So it's our annual Healthy Kids Day. We do it every year. We kind of switch between the branches. Yeah. Um, and because we are reopening the George Bray Neighborhood YMCA, we decided to do it there this year. Um, I really wanted to make it a community event for everybody to come, feel welcome, feel involved. So we're actually having it um, as a block party. That, that seems like a great idea. Uh, and, and maybe you could tell me about this because it's the first public event at uh, this specific place. Uh, wh why might that be important? Uh, I've heard it talked about as being a rebirth, as I said. Well, you know, we want to bring back the legacy of, of George Bray. Um, the, the, you know, the research that I've done, you know, he was a collaborator. You know, he wanted to bring uh, organizations and people from outside of the neighborhood into the George, uh, in, well, at that time it was named differently, mm -hmm. um, into that center, into that neighborhood. Um, and we want to bring that back. We want to really open up the neighborhood and show the, the residents and the business community of Racine all the positive aspects that are in that, that particular neighborhood of the city. Yeah. Uh, and the mission of this event is also very important. Can you talk to me about why you wanted to prioritize, uh, you know, the healthy part of this Healthy Kids Day? Um, well, I have some vendors donating fresh fruits and vegetables. I have people coming about mental health, dental health, um, all sorts of different people that can really be accessed in the community that sometimes we forget about. Yeah. Um, so. And tell me about the demographics out there. Like maybe um, why would it be important to bring those resources specifically to that neighborhood? Because I feel like they don't really have a lot of access to them. They don't know that they're right there, that they are so easy, easily accessible and, and will help them with a lot of their needs. Mm -hmm. As I said, uh, Karan Butler said that, you know, he spent a lot of time there uh, growing up. And um, he found mentors there. Uh, is this place going to become something like that again, do you envision in the future? Or uh, tell me about that. Well, it's funny, uh, Karan and I had a, a meeting today to talk about uh, really when, when he was growing up and what the center meant to him. Because as a why, you know, we have ways that we want to do things and sometimes we get stuck in our ways. And, and it was interesting that he sat down with me and opened my eyes to thinking differently. Uh, so to answer your question, yes, we're going to have some great programs that we've been doing uh, there at the break. However, we're going to also incorporate still the community kind of neighborhood center approach where there will be days where we'll just open the doors and let the community come in and and we'll go with the flow. Yeah, you know. And so to me that makes it sound like uh, this kickoff event is great because it's going to be on the streets and it's it's free and open for the public, you know, no membership, right? So why was that something that you wanted to emphasize? Um, because I wanted everybody to be welcome. It didn't matter how much money they had, where they came from, where they didn't come from, what they had, what they didn't have. I wanted them to feel welcome, to be able to come. Um, no cash sales, no anything. Everything's free. Um, we're going to have lo lots of events for the kids, um, all the way from small children all the way up to college prep. Um, you know, what do I need to do? What do I need to have ready? How do I open a bank account? You know, all the important things of growing up. So, uh, so just so a parent might envision this, they would show up, it's going to be a block party, and there will be different stations that people can go around to, or uh, games, or food, or, or what is it going to look like? Um, food, games, different vendors, um, and they'll all have, you know, their, their setup, and you'll know what they are. So you can see, oh, this is geared towards a small child. We're actually going to have a kind of a college prep center um, inside the building, where it's a little quieter. We are going to have Army, Marines, the pull-up bar, mm -hmm. you know, something for everybody. Yeah. Do you feel like a place like the George Bray Center, um, uh, 
are at, at the neighborhood YMCA now. I know I keep screwing it up because it's uh, the new name. It's a place like that still relevant? Uh, and, you know, just understanding that uh, it, it did kind of fall uh, into a position where maybe it wasn't as relevant. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? It's, it's, it's necessary. You know, it's necessary. Racine has, you know, six community centers, but Racine is, is, is in sections. You know, if you're on the south side, you go to the Bryan Center. If you're on the north side, you go to the King or the Mercedes Chauvinist Center. So, you know, for that uptown central city part of Racine, it was, you know, it was the ultimate embrace center. Well, let's put up a quick graphic about what's happening there. Saturday, April 22nd, 9 a.m. to 12, and uh, you'll be able to find it at 924 <coughs> Center Street. And thank you both for coming out. I really do appreciate that and hope it's a very popular event. Thank okay. you. Thank One you. other thing I want to